Hey, it's Nick and back. As I said earlier in the week, here we are with Sabion 6. Sabion, 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 Sabion. Oh, yeah. Well, as you all know, Sabion is based on Gen 2. Not the easiest of basic installs to do, or the quickest. Now, what's your longest time? Anybody that's actually done it, let me know, because it takes a bloody age sometimes. Well, so Sabion makes it easy for you. Does it all for you. In a nice little package. Right, okay, the download's a bit large at over a gig. Well, it's need two gig, actually. But works super fine once you get it all installed and running. And once it's going, it's really nice to use. It really is. And it's super stable, super, super, super stable than a stable thing in a stable block. A horse, really. So I've got the known version. So what we're going to do, I'm going to click on Applications. And as you can see, this is all the basics. All the basics. So you've got your Archive Manager, Calculator, Character Mac. As you would expect in GNOME, the usual. Not GNOME 3, as you can see. It's just GNOME 2, the old-fashioned one. You know, the old-fashioned one. I'm not even sure they're going to, if they're even changed, to be really honest with you. But who knows? See what happens in the future. It's a big thing for some of these distributions to decide what they're going to do. If they're going to go with GNOME 3 or not. I mean, I don't think a lot of them will do. And some will. It all depends how mad they feel about it, you know. Okay, anyway, games. Usual games. GNOME games. Oh, we get World of Goo. Ever played that? It's super duper. I like it. But under graphics, you do get Gimpy as standard and you get LibreOffice. So you've got LibreOffice draw there, so you know what it means. Image viewer for viewing image. Internet. Right. Chromium is your standard browser here. So we'll open up Chromium and we'll just wait a little ticky tocky tick tock tick tock tick tock. There we go. Shall I set it default? Yeah, that's a default. So if I put a sub on, so sample Y on in my browser. Oh, look, there it is. Sabion Linux, the user's operating system. Reasonably fast, look, that's all right, isn't it? That's a super, 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 even super than a super. That's lovely. So anyway, we're using the latest here, Sabion 6, no reason. You can get KDE as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, bit of a cough in my throat. Right, it tells you all about it at the site. I'm not going to go too much into this, really. Uh, here it says somebody's having a problem in VirtualBox. Well, I don't. I'm using it in VirtualBox now, as you can see. The only problem is I can't get the correct resolution. Then again, I do need a new monitor, so I'm not going to moan about that, really. No, I'm not. No, I ain't. No, I'm not going to moan about it. Moan, 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 moan. Okay, yeah. So that's a Sabion site, anyway. And if you want to know anything about Sabion, go here. It will tell you all about it. That's it. I'm going to leave it there. No problem. Oh, hang on. Shall I go to... Oh, no, what? I'll tell you what we'll do. Should we do in the BBC? Let's see if they can find... Oh, BBC comes out. See, net's nice and fast. Everything stores really well. It's got most drivers in it as well, although not all of them. Okay, there you go. BBC comes up. All right. Doom, gloom, doom, gloom, doom, gloom. That's enough of that before I depress myself. Okay. Back to applications one more time. Okay. So under Office, obviously, you get the full LibreOffice suite. Nice. And you get Evolution Mail. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it works all right. And there's a dictionary. Right. Under Sabion, you get Sabion. You get all the download stuff, the documentation, which is huge. Huge than a huge thing on a huge, 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 huge thing. Okay? You get all the repos, the help forum, the home page, and packages too. I'm not going to show you this time how to install stuff on Sabion. I'm just showing you what it looks like the new version 6. Now, if anybody you want me to... One of you, sorry, I'll start that again. If any of you want me to go deeper into it, I'm going to keep it on VirtualBox here, and I will do. Okay, Brazier is your standard. Now, it's using Excel as its music player. What's the matter with Guadalq? Eh? You got a problem? What's the matter with Guadalq? <laughs> anyway, Excel. Movie player, which is a known player. You've got Pulse Audio, same recorder, and don't forget you get the XBMC Media Center. I'm not going to open it. You can all open it yourself, but basically you can use the whole thing as a media center. Buy your TV, big widescreen, 48 inch, bish bosh, job done on your TV. As long as you've got a decent graphics card, you're all right. If you haven't, don't bother. Okay, you get compass fusion icons here, editors, your disk usage, your disk utility, which is gparted, a file browser, a magneto updates notifier, which you can see in the top bar, I'll show that in a second, and your printing, system monitor. I'll open it up so you can have a quick look. As you can see, I've allocated two cores to it. Runs all right to me, mate. Look, it's only using 185 mega RAM for a full Sabion. Now, that's pretty super cool, if you ask me. I'm not, yeah, I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. If I click on System, you'll see. There you go. Using me Q6600. Job <laughs> But as you can see, installation takes up a huge amount of volume. So if you're going to install it, even in VirtualBox, give it. I've only give it eight here. So give it at least ten. And if you're going to use it on a full-time basis, you give it at least fifteen. Okay. But you get your four desktops up here. Time and date as usual. If you've got a battery or a laptop there, 
there's my net connection volume and this is the update notifier now I've already updated everything it took a little while because it was a full XBMC update as well and you get your automatic sleep enabled and what's that there cannot get laptop brightness panel but I haven't got a laptop so it doesn't really matter so what do I think of Sabion I think it's alright actually now as I said earlier I will keep on the system I might do a bit more with Sabion because I've done a few bits with it before but that's what it's like but if you want to go with Gen 2 this is a baby for you oh yeah sneaky Linux out catch you later bye bye